Read the joke. Okay. It's now Sunday morning. Wait. What's the date today? I do not know. November 3rd, 2019. And we're reading. And it's the time right now is a quarter to nine in the morning. 8.45. And we're reading about Whistler. Alright, joke. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hey, Dad, can you build a track to the concert hall? They're having a Mozart oldies fest tonight. Okay, but I have to finish your mother's track to the beauty salon first. <laughs> You're funny. They 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 built a lot. They built a yeah. Track they were to Saint Peter. Well, what this is about is that Not they to the, beauty out, out, the Czar of Russia back then, who was the, oh, who wasn't the Nicholas the first. See, it goes, came from Nicholas the first, and then I think it was Alexander the first was the son, and Alexander the second, and then Nicholas the second became czar. Alexander the the second was murdered, and How? so was but so was. Uh, his grandson Nicholas. I read a lot of the history of. Well, there was a lot of problems in Russia at that time. A lot of problems. Ale Al Alexander the Third was a was a real big, mighty czar, strong as an Alexander ox. Alexander what? Oh, never mind. Well, let's just get to this. Okay, now let me hear you read. The guy in the joke says, Whistler, it's unusual. Whistler was born in, in Massachusetts and he went to St. Petersburg, Russia to, to live when he was a kid. That's, that would be fascinating. Especially if he didn't know how to speak Russian. Or right, read. Right here. It says, This guy who's telling Whistler something because he's. Harmon, don't read the joke till after we read the story. <laughs> Told let's go. Whistler to get out of here because he's fired. I know. Let's read the story first. I'll hold the book and read. I can't see, Harmon. Hold it up. All right, now read where I can see the James book. James Whistler got a good education at St. Petersburg. His parents noticed that he had a usual talent for drawing and sent him to the best art school in Russia. The Whistlers lived in St. Petersburg until sadly Mr. Whistler died. In 1849, the family moved back to the United States. Okay, read the next page and then read the joke. When James was 16, rather declined, he should enroll, what is that one? Enroll or something? Yeah, enroll. Enroll at the United States Harman, Military do your, Academy. Do your scratching later. At West Point. Okay, he, at, at the Academy at West Point. West Point is a military school like a college you go to mil you go to west point you're more than likely you're going to be come out of west point you, uh, you go into the military the army and you're going to be like a general it's very hard to get into west point look at that <laughs> yeah now read read go to go to <laughs> That's where, like, General Patton, he went to West Point. Eisenhower went to... All the great generals have gone to West Point. It's a school where they train you to become a, an officer, and hopefully later you become a general. All right, read. And James' father had gone to the same school. James wasn't the best military student, though. He was known as the prankster. 
Okay, what that is a pr what do you think a prankster is? He pr he put pranks on someone. Right, jokes. Very good. You got you you finally answered a question correctly. Huh? Wow. <laughs> I just know a prank. Uh, yeah, prankster for pranks. Good. Prank and it's okay. That's how <laughs> good job. The only class he did well in was drawing. After three years in West Point, James was asked to leave. Yeah, he was kicked out. Because all he wanted to do was draw pictures. Huh, no, let me read the joke for you. That does it, Whistler. I'm afraid you'll have to leave the academy. Oh, really, sir? What seems to be the problem? <laughs> Look. He pranked her. Huh? He put the... He, he put that party hat on the, the horse's nose with, with an officer's hat, huh? He was kicked out of the military school. Boy, that was... Being kicked out of the military school is not, not very good. Okay. He got fired. You know, he got kicked out. He got kicked out. Not fired. He, was, he, he didn't... It, going military... You only get... Hymer, stop scratching. Scratch once and then just stop. You're going on and on and on and on, scratching the whole time. <laughs> you remind me of scratching itch. <laughs> Do, <laughs> get sit up, sit up. <laughs> scratching itch. <laughs> what is scratching itch? The two brothers, always one always scratching, the other's always itching. <laughs> 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 okay, read this one now. After James Whistler left <laughs> West Point, he got a job in the drawing. You should know that word. The vision? Yes. Of the coastal. Yeah, coastal. Survey. Survey. Survey department in Washington. Washington, D.C. Stop. Coastal Survey Department. All right. Coastal means what? What do you think? Keep, what, what do you think? Keep, I'm going to keep reading. It. No, I want, you to, I want you to learn this. what this means. What does coastal mean? comes from the word coast. What's the coast? What is the coast? If I say we live on the Pacific Coast, what's the coast? What? I do not know. You don't know what the coast is? The Pacific Coast? What do you think the Pacific is? What do you know that is Pacific? Like the Pacific Ocean? Yes. That's the coast. Where the beach is. Okay? Don't forget that. That's important. Survey. Survey means that... I... I know. Don't talk well, like Muhammad Ali. That's... Muhammad, you don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Survey. Listen. Survey are people who go out and take measurements of land to I survey. Know. Survey. I know. No, you don't know that. You did not know that. That's what a, a surveying is. So what they did, the Coastal Surveying Department, was where they went, went out and they measured off land along the the ocean, the beach. Is that? Okay. Is that the Pacific? Okay. Well, yeah, you can see what it's, 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 it says there. There's these sketches. Okay, now read on. It was... It was Whistler's job to copy maps into copper plates or sheets. This was done so that maps could be printed in large numbers. These types of prints are called etchings? Etchings is right. Etchings... I said itchings. No, etchings. Etchings are... Why do you say itching? That doesn't make sense. Etchings are drawings, okay? All right, read on. Let's go. Sit up. Whistler loved learning about... And making etchings. When he became bored copying maps, 
James sometimes added his own drawings and doodles to make things more interesting. You read that very well, but you need to speed Daddy, it. Daddy, something might get in your nose. Okay, listen. Listen. You're, okay, focus on what we're doing. You read it very well, except you're reading it a little bit too... Your reading is dragging. you got to speed it up. Listen to how I read this. James loved learning about make making etchings. When he became bored copying maps, James sometimes added his own drawings and doodles to make things more interesting. What are okay. doodles? Doodles are just kind of where you're, you're not... You're just sitting there you're drawing, kind of scribbling, like little scribbles. You're just drawing any old thing. When you're bored, you doodle. You, people doodle when they're bored. They draw stick men and stick this and stick that, all sorts of stuff. It's just any kind of, cart like lo drawing little cartoons. Okay, here it goes. Okay, Whistler, would you like to explain this? Sure, my mom's on the left. The guy in the middle is is my old drawing teacher, and that's my girlfriend up in the corner. Okay? So, <laughs> what he's doing is he's just doing, look at this, he's drawing the etching, but then he's drawing a bunch of other things that don't even pertain, that don't even pertain to the drawing. And it's up yeah. There. All right, there you go. Did he paint that or draw that? Hold that.